Medieval documentaries and medieval docu-series are perhaps one of the most popular forms of media content in regards to having history displayed on our television screens. There are literally thousands of documentaries available covering pretty much all aspects of medieval history and the lives of prominent figures during this time. And that's why I have created this list on the top 5 medieval documentaries that stuck out to me for one reason or another, whether it be for their uniqueness, storytelling capabilities, or overall display of historical facts. But before we begin, don't forget if you love anything to do with historical TV shows and historical movies, then subscribe to my channel, History Spark. And at number 5, it is The Dark Ages, An Age of Light which is a four-part documentary series covering four very different and unique aspects of the Dark Ages, with important concepts like the power of art and the rise of Christianity, the different barbarian civilizations that helped bring down the downfall of the Roman Empire, as well as the influence of Islam and the Vikings during this time. So definitely a large variety of topics that I believe get covered very well by this documentary. And if you're looking for a documentary series that focuses more on the art history of the time rather than specific about kings or large battles, then Dark Ages, The Age of Light is the perfect recommendation for you. And number 4 is the docudrama series Britain's Bloody Crown, which covers the 30 year civil war period between the House of York and the House of Lancaster that saw the crown change hands 7 times during this period. This documentary series is presented by the historian Dan Jones and he does a decent job of presenting and narrating the history and events we are seeing on the screen. The acting and cast in this film are pretty good considering its limited budget and the set pieces and costume design are great as well. Where this series falls short though is in terms of historical accuracy and describing various character motivations and ambitions correctly which I think for a documentary series is just a flaw that cannot be overlooked so easily. But if you're looking for a docudrama which is more about style rather than substance, then Britain's Bloody Crown may be the series for you. And at number 3, it is Age of Samurai Battle for Japan, a documentary series which covers one of Japan's most brutal and deadliest eras, covering the tail end of the Sengoku period from 1581 to 1616. This documentary series covers the story of three powerful daimyos from Japan's feudal era, Oda Nobunaga, Toyotomi Hideyoshi and Tokugawa Iyasu, each of whom played a significant role in unifying Japan and bringing an end to feudal rule within the country. This documentary grips you from the get-go, throwing you straight into the middle of a civil war and it depicts battle after battle which highlights just how dangerous and turbulent these times were for samurai and common folk alike. This series is a great gateway that can be used to get introduced to Japanese history and the cultural norms of society during medieval Japan. But this is not a history book by any means as there are a great number of historical inaccuracies within this documentary and some of the narrators are not very engaging either. However, if you're looking for a show about Japanese history and the samurai, then Age of Samurai Battle for Japan is definitely a great place to start that journey. At number 2, it is Terry Jones's Medieval Lives, which focuses on trying to dispel the doom and gloom associated with the medieval era by trying to assert what is fact from fiction. And the benefit of the show is it also brings a Monty Python-like comedic manner and engagement to the show as well. This documentary series does a fantastic job of going into great detail about one topic each episode and it gives the viewer some great insight and knowledge about the subject matter with a good mix of humor and historical accuracy. The top spot on this list goes to Rise of Empires Ottoman, a TV series which shows in great detail the siege and fall of Constantinople by Mehmed the Conqueror. This is a docu-series which will be of particular interest to historical military fans as the entire documentary series is about the military tactics and strategy needed to maintain a siege against a well-fortified city. 
Emperor Mehmet deals with a number of obstacles and struggles to get past the impregnable defenses of Constantinople, while simultaneously also having to contend with betrayals, disease, and a whole plethora of other issues. If you enjoy the more military and warlike elements of historical documentaries, then Rise of Empires Ottoman is a great recommendation for you, as the show has a magnificent cast, amazing use of commentary by historians, and a surprisingly accurate level of realism regarding siege tactics and stratagems. So if you're looking for a documentary series that is brutal, interesting, and entertaining, and will keep you on the edge of your seat from beginning to end, then Rise of Empires Ottoman is my recommendation for you. And lastly, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please do like and share this video with others. And why not subscribe to my channel History Spark as I post videos about historical movies and historical TV shows each and every week. Thank you so much for watching.